Crafty family! It's time! It's time! It's time! Hashtag Pogist Art! Do you know what that means? That means really cool videos are coming your way, including this one. And Pogist Art, paw, like paw, like meow, paw, Pogist, like Pogist, like a paw in August. Get it? Get it? Pogist Art. The animal theme is the theme for the month. And I am going to do some funky, steampunk, weird project with this groovy cat that I printed out. Isn't that cool? And what I did was I printed it out. I fussy, I just printed it out on copy paper. And then I fussy cutted it. And then I put some acrylic sealer on it, about three coats, both sides, so that it was almost translucent, so it looked really groovy. And now what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do, I have this piece of metal that a friend sent me in a swap box and it's like just a random piece of sample metal and I thought it was pretty groovy looking and I thought well this would be the perfect opportunity. So it's going to go something like that and like that and then there's going to be some words here and then there's going to be all kinds of stuff. So in order to start I want to add a little bit of color to this dude but because I put sealer on it nothing is really going to stick to it but perfect pearls will stick to it. And what I'm going to do is use the Perfect Pearls to color it, and then after I color it, um, I can seal it again, you know, and actually I'll put it on here so you can see. And I'm going to, after I put some color on it with the Perfect Pearls, I'll seal it again with this, and that'll hold it down, and we'll be good to go. So, yeah, cool, cool. So what I'm going to do is just add a few funky colors to him, because he's kind of a very plain, kind of black and whitish kind of thing. So I want to kind of add a few elements. I might not use the blue. I want to keep it to the darker colors. The blue's a little bright. And add some color in certain areas of the cat and his little adornments, his goggles and whatnot, just to give him a little something something because he needs it. He needs a little something something. So I'm going to start with this uh, reddish color which is called Forever Red. And I'm going to I'm going to start on his, um, like his glasses area, I guess. And I'm just going to do a little, like, tapping it on, really. Not really fussing. Tapping and then blowing off the excess just so that it's... And as you can see, it gives it a really cool, like, shimmery color. And I like it. I like it a lot. So this is an idea that you can use for your projects, you know, um, to color a project, you know, don't forget about having perfect pearls because they work pretty cool because you can add water to them and make them into like, like a paint almost. You know, you can use them dry and put them on. They'll pretty much go onto any surface and then you can go from there and, you know, seal them or do whatever you're going to do, you know. So I'm just adding, I just wanted to add a little bit of color because... He was looking kind of, he was looking kind of sparse. And we, we don't want him to be sparse. We want him to have a little pizzazz to him. He's a pretty groovy cat, so. He is a groovy cat. So I'm going to add that to the feather. Every now and again, I'm just blowing off the excess. Um, let's see. To his fur, we could try the, the cappuccino color and see how that comes out. Just lightly kind of brush that on there to his furry bits. That's probably the most cat-like color out of this whole collection um, for, for this would be the cappuccino color because it's like a brown color. I mean, I don't know if a cat, you know, should be purple. Although this is a steampunk cat, so he can be as groovy as he wants, I would imagine. And I'm not being precise here. I'm just kind of doing. You know what I mean? I'm not like fussing. I'm not looking to get the entire cat perfectly painted with perfect pearls. I'm just kind of fuss, you know, playing. <laughs> I'm just giving him a little something. Let's see. I'll make his, maybe I should do his hat purple. Give him a regal hat. He's a regal hat for a regal cat. You know what I'm saying? Yep. 
that's what's going on but I'm excited this might be the only project I do and I might spread it out over a couple of days it'll might be a little easier on me than trying to um, do three different projects because I had trouble coming up with an animal theme <laughs> just because I'm a dingbat and I thought what kind of animal theme like what am I gonna do you know like I was having trouble thinking of what to do so I think and because this is going to take a you know a little while to do it's not a um, a quick one exactly so I might just do this and call it a day because I'm sure it's going to be a couple of parts, this this um, this video. There is no way in all of heck and hell that I am going to be able to get this done in a very short period of time. That is faux shizzle. Whoops. Don't drop him. Don't drop Mr. Magic Cat. No. So, let's see. See, where else can we add some elements? I'm just taking tiny, tiny little bits on the tip of the brush and just giving him a little sparkle and a little love. There's one other color that I should grab. This one's called Biscotti. And there's a couple of lighter areas like around his nose and mouth that I can use the Biscotti. I like saying that biscotti that's light enough to kind of do that area and like his ear it's kind of fun to do it's fun to use the perfect pearls it really is it's a lot of fun and the face of the clock thing that's on his thing. Oh, let's see. He's a little more green up here at the brim of his hat. I think this is looking pretty good. Don't you think? Don't you think? Wouldn't you agree? I don't know if you guys can see the shimmer very well on your on your um, screen there because I'm sure it doesn't show up all that fabulously and I apologize for that let's see if that if we can get something going on so you could see it can you see that let me see I'm trying to hold it so you could see see how sparkly and kind of glimmery it is yeah, I think you could see. Isn't that cool? So, yeah. So that's it. We painted the kitty cat. He is ready to rock and roll. He looks way better than he did before. He definitely stands out now. He's got some character. Now he looks like a proper steampunk cat. Especially for me. Because I likes me some sparkles. So I'm going to put these away. And then I'm going to spray the sucker with some acrylic sealer. So that we don't lose. And I'm going to be careful how you spray it. Because you don't want to like spray off everything. So you're going to do it from a distance. And you're just going to give it a quick little whoosh. And that's it. You're not going to like go over it and over it and over it. Because you risk the chance of it running. And I could risk the chance of screwing it up just by trying to go over it. So I'm going to put it over my garbage can and see what happens. Because you can always add another coat. That looks good if you think you missed areas but don't like keep going over it to get more areas do you know what I mean not over perfect pearls you don't want to do that you want to just do like a couple squirts let it dry then go back and do more so that you're not like m manipulating or moving the the perfect pearls because they are a powder and until you seal them with something they will just come right off hold on so they'll, they'll just wipe right off, you know, very easily unless you seal them. But depending on what you're sealing them with could make them run or bleed or what have you. So you got to be careful. So you just want to be gentle. Practice with it a little bit. That's probably the best thing to do. If you're going to get a black and white photo or something like this and do the same thing, take a practice piece of paper 
and just practice a little bit because I mean you use like minute amounts of perfect pearls you will pretty much never run out of this stuff I use so little on this like it you wouldn't even have known that I used any so practice and then try it and and spray it and you know see how it reacts and see how you do with it so that you don't screw up your your permanent project or just print out another one if you do so that's just about dry so I'm gonna give it just one more quick spray just to be sure that I hit everything and then I'm gonna let it sit so I'm gonna let that dry I'm not gonna dry it with the heat gun because I don't want the acrylic sealer to run at all and take the perfect pearls with it so that's another thing don't dry it with your heat gun just let it sit and air dry it doesn't take long 10 minutes max and when we get back um, we will get into the canvas so I'll be right back okay now that mr. kitty cat is dry we're gonna set him aside for a minute and we're gonna bring back in the canvas and we are going to take a couple of pieces of this really thin cheap foam and we're gonna cut it we're gonna cut it and we're gonna make some different strip type of sizes and you know that type of thing and we're just gonna cut it and we're gonna make different square pieces or rectangular type of pieces like so and we'll probably need more than one but we'll start with this and basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna leave that in the middle so that I know to to kind of keep things away from that but I'm going to take some clear tacky glue or regular tacky glue is fine and I'm going to glue these various pieces of foam down all over the canvas and hopefully this will cooperate and I might need to get the big bottle out so because I need like mondo amounts of that so let me grab the big bottle I don't know what I did with it come back here and I might have to do it a different way because this is going to take forever if I do it this way. So what I'm going to do, because you need a lot of it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in this bowl. I'm going to glob it in there and that's how we're going to do it. <laughs> and I'm going to get my palette knife here. Palette knife glue it's just easier for this situation anyway because you want good coverage but unfortunately for this you can't use Mod Podge it will not hold so you want like a good sticky thick glue that's going to hold so the best way to put it on is with a palette knife because you can spread it all the way as needed and and then place it on your project and I'm gonna go over the edges you know because you always want to kind of finish the edges and know what I'm saying and see that it just sticks right down you might get a little lifting here and there and everywhere but you know you can always fix that with hot glue afterwards I don't want to use hot glue because that would take a lot of hot glue and it would might uh, because this foam is so thin it would likely warp the foam so we're not going to do the hot glue we're just going to do this method and I think this method will work just fine so far so good right so yeah it's just a lot of uh gluing and layering of this and basically the what what this technique is going to do is it's going to give us a believe it or not it's gonna it's gonna give us a look of um like metal uh like layered metal that's what we're going for so we layer all this on and just make a mess with it you're just going to sloppily layer it all over each other on top of each other and basically then we're going to put rivets in it fake rivets and then we're going to use a little paint use a little rub and buff and it's going to come out like magic and it's going to look like a totally different it's going to look like a totally different thing it's going to be freaking awesome the hard part is like on the corners that's the hard part so you just kind of got to play with it that's what he said <laughs> so I may I may not even well what I may do is just cut smaller strip 
to go around the corner like that or something. It's just going to be a lot of playing to figure out how to get it on there. But we got to get it on there and then we paint it and it's going to be like faux metal. It's going to be beautimous. You'll see. It'll look awesome. And you'll be like, oh my goodness, why didn't I ever do that before? I did this on another project a long time ago. I am making a hell of a mess, I just want to say. <laughs> the corners are the biggest bitch on this because, you know, it's just hard. I'm not even going to say anything. And if I can't get it, then I can't get it. So I might not be able to get it. Well, let me try it that way. It ain't easy. And the glue is gloppy. So you just got to do the best you can. That's the best you can do is the best you can. It's glue. It's okay. You're going to make a mess. I know I am. But the end result will be awesome. And you can take your little, you know, baby wipe or whatever and wipe any excess glue that you got going on. I hope you could see this. Or am I like completely out of camera view? I tried to zoom in my phone because that's what I use to film these videos. I tried to zoom it in a little bit um, so that it would be a little less far away, obviously. <laughs> okay, that one should hold. Let's hope. If not, like I said, if there's ends sticking up, then we can go back in with a little bit of maybe hot glue or something else. Um, but for now, we're just going to worry about this and glop some glue on. This is kind of fun, though, to play with glue and glop it on. Glop. Can you say glop? Getting your fingers dirty. Because, yeah, that's the one thing about any kind of mixed media, it is definitely a finger dirty kind of art. It is definitely not a clean art. It is almost impossible with mixed media to keep your fingers completely clean. That doesn't really happen. And I'm not doing this across the whole canvas. I'm doing it like around some of the edges. Um, really, I'm not doing the whole thing because that would just take forever and it's not the look I'm going for to begin with. So. Yep, we're just going for some. I just want some of this effect. I have done entire canvases like this. Um, but yeah, not this one. I wanted some, I wanted the burlap to kind of show through because this is the first time I'm using a burlap canvas. So I, if I was just going to cover the whole thing, I wouldn't have wasted my burlap canvas. Get down. I wouldn't have wasted the burlap canvas to do it. I would have used something else. It's being difficult. Yeah, you got to go back and like push things down every now and again. It's kind of a pain in the butt. But I will fast forward through this so you do not need to endure watching every detail. <laughs>
Okay, so the white glue just wasn't cooperating, like, whatsoever. So I had to switch to hot glue. I didn't have a choice. Um, it just kept popping up. I don't remember having that problem before when I've done this, but I might have used E6000, come to think of it, because, yeah, no. I don't remember things. So, yeah. You could use hot glue, just be careful because A, it seeps out the sides a lot because it's not absorbing into it, so it seeps. And um, also it, you know, leaves like hot glue and there's kind of no way around it, so it doesn't look as nice, but there's not much I could do because I don't have anything else to adhere it down with that isn't going to take six years to get it to adhere down. So I'm just saying screw it. And I'm just going to do it with the hot glue. Oh well. Because I am not going to sit here for the next 10 years gluing down things. I just won't. See, but that's all I'm doing on the corner is that much. And now I'm working on this corner. Yeah, I stopped for a minute because I was getting frustrated. And I didn't want to, like, start saying bad words to you guys. And being like, wah, 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 wah. Because I was pissed. <laughs> Because it just wasn't working out, man. And I was not happy. See, I'm doing like half of it. And then I go back under so that it doesn't dry. Trying to get... And I'm just going around the edge. I'd go, I'll go like halfway around the edge. Put it down. Then lift up. And go... Whoop. Whoop. Oops. Come on. I hate when my glue gun doesn't work. And then put it down. And do the best you can. Not to push it too much. Because if you push it, that's when everything squirts out the sides. So you just want to lay it down and let it grab a hold and be done with it. Okay, uh, let's see. We want to do her. See, I'm just doing this. I'm just going boop, 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 and then laying it down. Because with a low temp heat gun, which is what this is, to try to do the whole thing without it, they glue drying on you is almost impossible. But luckily foam is flexible enough where you can lift up edges and go underneath and glue. I just wish the other glue would have worked. It's a little bit less messy, but this side's a little bit better because I got used to it. This side I screwed up big time over here, but oh well. It's okay. It'll always be okay. It's mixed media, people. It's mixed media. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's where we're at. We're just a gluing. We're just a gluing fools. I burn myself. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like to burn myself. I don't think anybody likes to burn themselves. Unless you're one of those people that like to burn yourselves. I might change that one. I don't like the way it looks. I didn't mean to put it like that, and I don't know why I did. It was not my original intent, but I kind of laid it down fast and then realized, oh crap. So, what we might do is just catch a hold of it and remove it. You can do that. You can do a lot of things. It's very easy. And I'll just cut another one and cover it. You know what I'm saying? It's the magic of, you know, what I'm doing here. If you can change things, it's okay. It won't be that detrimental. So I'm saying, then we get another piece and we put it there and all is right with the world. Okay, so, um, that part's done. Did I forget to do that? Of course I did. Burt. Burt. 
Okay, now it's done. Now it's done, now it's done, now it's done. So now I'm going to take um, uh, stencil and we're going to do some stenciling of some modeling paste. How's that sound? Does that sound good? We're just going to add a little texture on the other parts. Okay, so we're going to let this dry because, of course, that's got to dry before I can do anything else. And then I'm going to come back and we will continue on our Pogist art canvas. How's that sound? Does that sound good? Sounds good to me. All right, I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, folks, this is pretty much dry now, and I'm going to add the black paint to this. It'll probably take a couple of coats, I would imagine, because it's just the way it goes. So I'm going to do some painting, and I'm going to try um, not to get too much on the burlap, but if I get a little bit, it's not a big deal. I ain't going to cry about it, is what I'm saying. So I hope you guys watch a bunch of the Pogist art videos. Like I said, this one will be hashtagged mixed media. Or, you know, yeah, it'll be hashtagged mixed media. So if you look up other mixed media uh, Pogist art videos, and again, you put in hashtag Pogist art, hashtag mixed media, and more videos are going to come up or if you want to see videos on like you know regular canvas painting you know that type of thing you would put in hashtag pogist art hashtag painting or hashtag pogist art hashtag card making you know what i'm saying that's how that works it makes it easy or you could just put in pogist art you know hashtag pogist art and see all the videos you know just random videos from the Pogist art. And it'll be nice because, you know, go through and subscribe so, you know, to some new folks, man. Subscribing, you know, that's the best thing you can do for somebody is to subscribe and like their videos. So, you know, yeah, help out, help somebody out. Go find some new uh, folks to watch. Just remember where, you know, just remember the little people like me when you're, you know, surfing around trying to find other artists. Don't forget me. I'll be very lonely over here. I'm excited about it because I really... I forgot I put a piece of tape here to hold that down. Um, I'm really excited because I am looking forward to seeing some new folks and finding some cool art and, and then also seeing my old favorites, you know. Some of my favorites like Shannon Green. I love her. She's fabulous. You know what I'm saying? Artsology and Shemi Dixon. Those are all fun people that, you know, are involved with the uh, hashtag Pogist Art. And they all should be doing an animal theme. You know, if they, you know, there probably is going to be somebody out there that doesn't, and that's fine. They don't have to stick to the theme, I guess. Um, you know, like strictly. I mean, I'm just the only, like, I, the only thing I'm putting on that's an animal is this you know what I mean like so I mean it can be anywhere from just animal print all the way to an animal you know like uh, physically putting on no well, not physically putting on a live animal <laughs> come here Tigger let me put you on my painting and decoupage him to my <laughs> that would be kind of funny wouldn't it decoupage my dog to the to my uh, art project yeah I don't know if he'd appreciate that very much Ah ha ha, look what I just did. Check that out. I'm brilliant. Ugh, I'm always a mess. And then, of course, I wipe it and look what happens. It gets worse. I had to put my paintbrush in my mouth. Ay, ay, ay. I'm a mess. I swear it. Yeah, we're going to be doing some spraying um, over the this, that, or the other thing. I probably should have done that before I did the black paint, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. It ain't going to show up that much. Um, so, yeah. Or maybe I'll do some mica powders or the, you know, yeah, the you-know-what 
Um, yeah, Perfect Pearls. I could do that over that too or something. Okay, this coat looks good. I'm going to give it a quick blow dry. Heat gun, whatever. And then do a quick second coat just to make sure it's fully covered. It looks pretty good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the camera off and just put a second coat on when it finishes drying because it's not drying in some of the little areas where it kind of bunched up a little bit, you know. So I'm going to spread some of that out. And then I'm going to put a second coat on. And I will come back after I do that so that you don't have to sit here and, you know, so we don't have to sit here and watch paint dry because that kind of sucks. So I will be right back.